You probably clicked on this video to see a beautiful Les Paul, and that's exactly what I'm going to show you. So come and follow me. So some say the holy grail of guitars is the Gibson Les Paul 1959 Les Paul standard. And Gibson Custom Shop definitely got behind that with making this reissue. So we all know that the original Les Paul standards go for over 500,000 at auction. So these reissues are the closest things we can get to the real thing. So let's open it up. Are you ready for this one? So here we are, we have a 1959 reissue Les Paul, also known as an R9, in a heavy age poppy burst finish. This guitar is honestly one of my dream guitars. Um, I would like it a little bit of a darker burst, but in terms of a 59 standard that's just battered, um, you can't get better in my opinion. Uh, this is from the heavy age run from 2022. You can tell that because they put a little more cushioning into this uh, case to protect your guitar. You can see here we've got a nice lifting case with the pink kit inside and we have the Murphy Lab seal of approval right on there, we'll get into that in a little bit. To start off with, let's talk about the construction of these guitars. Obviously if you're a burst lover you'll know this already but I'll go over it if you don't know. We have a two-piece flames maple top. This one has a decent amount of figuring in, it's very reminiscent of what you'd actually get in 1959. On the back we have a mahogany body and a mahogany neck. This has the famous 59 profile, which is like the in-between neck profile for Gibson. It's not too thick like a 58, but it's also not too thin like a 60s. It's the perfect neck cut. We have Gibson's newest innovation at the time, which was the PAF Humbucker. These were made by Seth Lover. And we have the standard electronics, the two volumes, two tones, and the ABR1 bridge and stop tailpiece. See here, cream pit guard, three-way switch. We've got a rosewood fingerboard with the celluloid inlays, which is how they were made back in the day. We've got the cream binding, and we've got Gibson Deluxe tuners which are vintage style. This guitar is made basically to recreate the 59. So we have the long neck tenon construction along with the aniline dies on the back, which is a perfect recreation of a 1959 guitar. Obviously you can see that this guitar is battered and that is purposeful. The Murphy Lab hand aged guitars by using several different methods that are kind of kept under lock and key. But what we can assume is that um, they use kind of cold hot treatments to get this lacquer that you can see on screen now and they use keys and other implements to kind of batter the finish. So the Murphy Lab guitars are actually finished slightly different as well. They're finished with a bit more of a authentic vintage style nitrocellular Leica, which is like more prone to aging. Uh, the original guitars would age a lot quicker and so does this one. Whereas a VOS or a normal custom shop model is gonna be a lot more of a thick finish, which is heavier wearing. Forgot to mention as well, you can see on the back plate here, this is a 70th anniversary model. So now that you've seen this guitar, let's hear what it sounds like. Let's get rocking. 